welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a beginning of a new series on my channel. Um, I'm trying to make a little bit of a new direction on my channel because um, I feel like a lot of my videos are based on hair care anyway and hair health and things that I'm doing to help my hair and I thought that maybe I will streamline that onto my channel a little bit. So today is going to be the first of many, many, many reviews um, and it's going to be on my tried and true favourite Kevin Murphy Repair Me Wash and Rinse. Um, so I actually have the 500ml sizes here. They also come in a smaller 250ml sizes, which I'll leave a picture of up on the screen. Um, I've been through quite a few of the 250mls, and so I've moved on to the 500. These ones are brand new, haven't opened yet. I have an open set in my shower. Um, but I thought that we would go through the Kevin Murphy set first. Um, I'm actually going to break these reviews down into... Uh, ingredients, consistency, how they feel, how they work, that sort of thing. I have all my notes here about the ingredients, but before we get into that, um, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below um, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. It means the world to me and it really shows that you support my channel, uh, especially if you are interested in seeing some more reviews. Um, if you have a shampoo or conditioner that you would like me to review, leave them in the comments down below. I'm always open to trying new ones. So let's, let's jump straight into the actual review. Let's start with the wash because that is the shampoo portion. Kevin Murphy actually named their products wash and rinse. A little bit more confusing, but the wash is the shampoo basically. Um, and it is the Repair Me wash and what they promise is reconstructing, strengthening shampoo. Um, I have actually got all the ingredients listed here on my iPad for you guys. Um, so I can sort of go through their claims and what they actually like say they're going to have. Um, and then I can go through sort of the ingredients that they have on them and what I think of those. So the Repair Me Wash. It's to nourish overtaxed hair back to life and make dry, damaged, frizz, overprocessed hair a thing of the past with a little help from the Repair Me Wash. Prepare to renew and restore frazzled hair. So um, there's a lot of ingredients in this and we're going to go through some key ones. The first thing to notice is the first ingredient is actually water. You'll find this in a lot of hair care. Water is the main ingredient on most hair care nothing wrong with that um the next i think it's four five or six ingredients actually um are surfactant slash gentle cleansing products um this does not technically have sulfates in it although it does have sulfate type products sodium methyl sulfurate and sodium god i can't even pronounce these cocal isothionate 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 um, you've also got a couple other ones after that, but basically they are gentle cleansing agents um, that give a rich and creamy foam and lather um, without actually needing those sodium laureth sulfate or sodium laurel sulfates, those sulfates that are much more stripping. Um, these are derived from vegetable and fatty acids and they are 100% biodegradable, so they're a lot better for your scalp. Um, the next couple ingredients are emollient and emulsifying ingredients. Um, they're basically just going to help get a bit of lather, spread the product. Um, you're also looking at, let's talk about some of the important ingredients. So it's got uh, hydrolyzed pea protein and uh, hydrolyzed rice protein. Uh, your proteins are exactly as specified. Um, they are going to help build the building blocks of your hair and they're going to help to strengthen your hair and restore it. Um, it is a repair me wash. It is meant to help rebuild your hair and give you healthier, stronger hair overall. Um, it does have quite a few antioxidants. So you've got ginger root extract and rice bran oil. They're two of the main antioxidants that this shampoo has, which are wonderful. Uh, you've also got lactic acid as a natural gentle exfoliant that is perfect for exfoliating the scalp to prevent buildup of dry and dead skin cells, which will overall give you a healthier scalp. Um, you've also got soothing products such as horse chestnut seed extract, ginger root extract, nettle extract, and aloe leaf juices, as well as its own probiotic. Um, again, this is all going to help to soothe the hair and soothe the scalp, um, while also hydrating a little bit. This shampoo will not leave your hair feeling super duper dry. It does not leave your hair feeling stripped or like you can't run your fingers through it. I have a few of those shampoos before, especially clarifying ones, where they leave your hair feeling super, super dry. This shampoo does not do that. Um, it's got enough ingredients that are moisturizing and enough ingredients that are 
um, soothing and nourishing that it doesn't find that you do that but it also has enough ingredients that it is still very cleansing um, you also have um, some silk amino acids and some keratin amino acids same thing as those proteins that i was speaking about before they will all help to rebuild the hair shaft um, from the inside out your hair is made of keratin and collagen and protein and those things are very important and so these things will help to rebuild that shaft and make it stronger from the inside out and prevent further breakage as well as trying to help repair some of the breakage that you might already have um, it has quite a few preservatives in it because like I said, it's not a hundred percent natural product. It is a vegan product. It is sulfate free, um, but it is not a hundred percent natural. So yes, it does have preservatives. None of them in which are damaging or irritating. The last thing I also want to mention is it does have perfume. All of Kevin Murphy's products are perfumed. Um, so if that is something that is irritating to your scalp, uh, please be wary of that. The scent is really, really lovely. Um, it does have like a florally, very uh, girly, flirty scent. Um, and it smells really wonderful. The shampoo and conditioner have the same scent. But if you are sensitive to fragrance, please be wary of that. It is something to note that um, it does contain fragrance. So that is the shampoo moving on to the conditioner um comes in the same bottle um it is the darker blue color the, uh, the shampoo is the lighter blue color so this is a repair me rinse and it claims repair and renew and restore dry damaged frizzy overprocessed hair with the repair me rinse our deeply nourishing and strengthening conditioner helps to reconstruct and repair hair so same sort of claims as the shampoo it's got quite a lot of ingredients in it again but it has quite a few really good ingredients so let's talk through some of those because i've actually made a note of some of them the first thing to note is it does actually have a few exfoliating ingredients which you wouldn't expect in a conditioner they're very gentle you've got propane enzyme which is based from a papaya fruit um, and this acts as an antioxidant and an exfoliant um, it is I haven't found that this is anywhere near drying for my hair. In fact, it's very, very moisturizing. I have a feeling that the exfoliant purposes of this is to help sort of like to remove any dead skin cells or any dead cells around the sort of lengths of your hair because you don't apply shampoo to lengths of your hair. Um, it also helps to cleanse better and aids in smoothing the hair down. So while it is an exfoliant, it is helping it to smooth. Um, it also has bromelain enzyme, which is from pineapple stems, and they sort of do the same sort of thing. Um, it also has green pea protein and shea butter. Um, anyone and everyone who has any sort of interest in hair care should know about shea butter. It is incredibly moisturizing um, and nourishing. It also helps to strengthen the hair and restore protein balance to the hair. Um, and the pea protein will help to restore the hair and build stronger a hair shaft while repairing the damage um, you'll find that shea butter is in a lot of very moisturizing and repairing shampoos and conditioners and particularly it's in the conditioner here but i don't find that it makes it too heavy however it is quite a thick conditioner so if you have very very light fine hair you will only need a small amount of this i wouldn't go too overboard it also has glycerin as the third ingredient and glycerin is a superstar product um, it is a moisturizer and a humectant which basically means it traps moisture into the hair shaft which is fantastic for overall hair health because your hair needs moisture especially if it's dry if you're looking for a repairing product then your hair is probably dry um, and it also helps to protect the hair because it has trapped that moisture in and then seals it in so it is protecting the hair um, it does have cetyl alcohol. This is something that I didn't really understand until I did a bit of research on it. Cetyl alcohol is non-irritating and non-drying. It is not the same as other alcohols because it is a fatty uh, alcohol. It's, it's made of a fatty alcohol. It's not a drying alcohol. And basically the purpose of the cetyl alcohol in this product is to help stabilize the oil and water that the products use so that they can actually be used together because if you know anything about science then oil and water generally repel each other and the cell alcohol actually helps to counteract that repel it also has aloe leaf juice and panthenol um, they are both soothing and moisturizing ingredients but they both also act as humectants which as we talked about a second ago help to seal the uh, water into the shaft um, and like leave it trapped in there to help prepare to help repair the shaft and to help keep it moisturized there are other ingredients obviously as well i'm not going through every single ingredient on the list because there is a lot um, but it has also got some preservatives 
um, it's got quite a few um, ingredients that are sort of just meant to support your moisturizing ingredients things that are meant to help with absorption and the way they work and then of course it does also have some perfumes as i mentioned earlier um all kevin murphy products that i know of have perfumes including these ones like i said it has a really beautiful uh fruity scent it is really really wonderful if fragrance is not an issue for you then these smell incredible if it is then please be wary um, and maybe steer clear of this particular product Overall, I love the shampoo and conditioner. The shampoo is very lightweight. It is very well foaming. I do shampoo twice. Um, I find that the first time I shampoo, it doesn't lather as well. The second time, it lathers very well. Uh, it's not overly drying or stripping, and it does make my hair feel clean without feeling dry. Uh, the conditioner is quite a thick conditioner. Um, I don't tend to use a ton of it and I tend to keep it from about here down. Um, I try not to put it too close to my scalp, although it does have those exfoliating properties. If you were to put it on your scalp, it's not going to be too heavy as long as you don't have super fine hair. Um, I find that it's not overly nourishing or moisturizing um, because it's not meant to be as such. It is a repairing conditioner, so they do spend a lot of time on their ingredients on protein-based ingredients because they want you to build that hair shaft um, as opposed to necessarily lots of moisturizing ingredients although those are in there it is a sort of creamy color which i think is sort of more from the shea butter it has that same sort of like brownie color cream um, and it is thick without being overly so definitely not runny by any means and but a little does go a long way so i will put in some like clips of the shampoo and the conditioner for you guys to see and for you guys to sort of get the idea of the textures so so the shampoo and conditioner the 250 ml bottles they are quite pricey they retail for 44.95 each um that is for the 44.95 for the shampoo 44.95 for the conditioner um because it is coming up to christmas time you can get gift packs i tend to buy mine in gift packs if i try to but now i have been buying the uh bigger size ones and that is because um so i tend to buy the uh bigger size ones when they're available um these are something that come out sort of like maybe twice a year they're not available all the time but if they are available or i can find any links to them i'll leave them linked down below um otherwise i'll leave the website that i bought these ones from down below um but i find that these actually work out to be a ton better value because the 250 ml bottles are 45 dollars basically and the 500 ml bottles work out to be 50 dollars so you're getting double the product for like five extra dollars which is like crazy so i tend to buy mine in the bulk size because that is my preference so I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will put in my befores and afters. I will put it my ex, my clips of the textures. And this is actually my hair today as my wash day. Um, I will do the shampoos and conditioner reviews on my wash day or after my wash day so you can see the effects of the before and afters so you can see how they cope on my hair. Um, this is all my natural hair color if you guys don't know. And then there is some blonde in my hair from when I had colored last year. So. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you found it helpful and interesting. And like I said, if you have any shampoos and conditioners you would like me to review, please leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in a couple of days for my next video. Bye.